Hi, Chad here from Purple Collar Life. On this episode, we'll be mowing the cemetery with our new Poro Time Cutter. large section out front and then an older section in the back, clear back into the woods. I always like to use the John Deere 2210 to move any of my trailers around. It's just so much easier than navigating in the driveway with the truck. And once I get them in position, it's easy to back the truck up to them and hook up and load up. Of our 6x12 Carmate trailer. For those of you that have been watching us for a while, you'll know that Toro partnered with Purple Color Life and provided us with this zero turn to use for mowing and do video reviews. For those of you who haven't watched, I'll put some links up above to some previous videos about this time cutter zero turn mower. And now's a great time to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And I tie down the back to tie downs at the front of the trailer, and I tie down the front of the zero turn to tie downs at the back of the trailer. When you first start pulling out, those front dolly wheels swivel. You just go nice and slow until they swivel around and have you aimed in the right direction. I prefer to back the zero turn into the trailer and then pull out forward. I know some people will do the opposite. They'll pull into the trailer and then back out. Our cemetery mowing system, we start in the front path closest to the main road, and I mow up and down the rows, and then across the front open area. And that lets Jennifer and Mackenzie and myself know what is remaining that needs to be trimmed with either the weed whacker, or in between some of those stones, obviously the big mower won't fit, so you have to push the push mower between them, and then weed whack around the stones, not hitting any of the flowers. This is an older cemetery. There used to actually be a church located on this hillside. You can see in the turtle speed, it makes it much easier for me navigate close to the stones and around any flowers. With the John Deere there's usually a lot of stragglers up behind and with the Toro time cutter those blades are moving so fast and so sharp they make a beautiful cut. No stragglers. I think the other advantage is the dolly wheels, while they are nice and wide, they don't push the grass and hold the grass down like the front wheels of the John Deere compact tractor. Here we've moved to the upper section of the cemetery. This is the oldest section and it goes way back there into the woods. The further back you go, the older the stones are. There's stones back there from the 1800s. A 
and like I said, those rows are not all nice and straight. Spacing between the stones, spacing between the rows isn't exactly even. You have to be really careful, especially once you get back into the tree area. Those stones are so old and often they look very fragile. A lot of that area, just because of the placements of the stones, I can't even get back into with the zero turn, so it's a lot of push mowing and trimming. This is after we've finished mowing. Getting ready to reload the zero turn into the trailer and all the other equipment. We've already trimmed and blown any debris off of the stones from mowing. Just blowing the mower deck and the mower off here to keep it clean. almost forgot that not only does the deck barely fit into the trailer, but the deck definitely will not fit in the trailer with the chute down. So I have these long rubber bands that I hold the chute up from the front of the chute back to the speed control lever. Just holds the chute up in place so that when I'm backing in I'm only dealing with the deck width as my widest point. here it wasn't quite as easy this time. You start spinning it all and to lose your straight on shot, lose your momentum. Try to go nice and slow, make only small adjustments. See if you get off kilter at an angle just a little bit, even if you make it through the doorway, you can't keep going in the trailer because you're going to get too close to one side or the other. So you see I have to wiggle around inside there to try to get it straightened back out. I'm back out onto the ramp a little bit to straighten myself out and then try to back in, keeping things straight and with those dolly wheels spinning in the front, I certainly wish that my trailer were a seven foot wide trailer a little tight. See here, that first time made it look pretty easy back at the house, but here shows you that it can some sometimes be more difficult. Looks like I've got it straightened out, going in at a straight angle, the wheel's all straight. Put those handles out and it locks the parking brakes. I explained that in previous videos if you haven't seen them. See here we're at 3.6 hours on the mower, coming up on that 5 hour oil change. I have these motorcycle handlebar straps, they work really nice for using this ratchet strap on the zero turn also because it's a nice soft point to pull from. When I first bought this trailer from Carmi, I didn't have these anchor points. So I bought the anchor points and then took it back to Carmi and they installed these for me.
I also really like these ratchet straps that have the spring load on them so that they can't just pop off. a link to all this in the Amazon affiliate link below. So we're just done mowing the cemetery here and we've mowed this cemetery for a number of years so we've got a good handle on how long it takes us to mow. This was our first time mowing with a zero turn. I was mowing in the turtle speed which is the slowest speed since it was my first time in the cemetery going around all these stones with that mower. And we have calculated that it saved us at least a half an hour of mowing time and then probably 40 minutes trimming time because I was able to get so much closer to the stones and again that's just with using the slowest speed once I'm more comfortable and can speed up I'm sure it'll save even more than that thank you for watching please click that subscribe button comment like 